Hey everybody. I'm trying to get this uh, working. All right, hey, it's Jordan Kemper. Excited to be live with you guys. I'm uh, here to talk to you guys about the profession of network marketing. And while we're waiting for the list to build, I'd love for you guys to share when you guys get on. Tell me uh, where you guys are calling in from. Make sure I fix this. we go. Hey, I see from Idaho. Hi, Jody. Those of you guys signing in, tell me where you're calling in from. So I understand my screen's going to be a little bit dark, but that's because I want to show you guys some stuff, uh, a little bit of a presentation. I think it's really going to be important. Show some visuals as we talk through this. I'm waiting for you guys to jump in. So let me, uh, just for sake of time, let me tell you guys. So I started my network marketing business when I was 22. Um, I was on my way to med school. Uh, Dr. Steve Hershcheck came into my life. He told me that he was trying to replace his income as a physician. I, I don't know about you guys, but I didn't have a, a positive opinion of network marketing at the time, but I did trust him as an individual. And so I partnered with him. I actually just looked, uh, I've made over 3 million in commissions. Um, it's been an crazy, crazy 10 year ride, but I have so much gratitude in my heart for USANA. But I want to really kind of today, with the time that we have here on Monday, I wanna develop the right mindset necessary towards the profession that we represent. And I wanna work through that. So I'm excited to talk about that. Alex, what's up buddy? From Kentucky, on the road. Hey, Dave from Idaho. Glad you guys are here. So I want to do a giveaway. Hi, Sandy. I want to do a giveaway, but you have to stay with me through this presentation in order to get the giveaway because it's going to be at the end. And don't skip to the end either. But I want to give away a case of Rev3. Uh, and at the end, I'll tell you how you guys can earn that. So be looking forward to an opportunity to earn a, a, a case of Rev3. Who doesn't love Rev3? So here's what I want to do first. I want to um, I want to talk about mindset, and I want to just ask you, and I apologize if the screen is, is in reverse. I don't know how to fix that. If somebody does, let me know. But I just want to ask you, those of you guys that are watching, you can feel free to participate. Where is your belief in the industry of network marketing? On a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being really shallow, 10 being really high, where is your belief in the industry of network marketing? Would you mind? I'd love to just see some comments here below. If you're a, a one, you have very low belief. If you're at a 10, you have extremely high belief in the profession of network marketing. But tell me what that is. And I think it'll be really cool. I think it'll be valuable for us to see just the different levels of industry belief that we all have. I see, yes, hi, Lorene's on. I see you've got a 10, absolutely. But comment and, and help us. I see Erica's got a 10. I mean, you guys have, Judy's in the eight. Okay, terrific. Don't hesitate. Don't be afraid to be honest with yourself. Let me see if I can do that. Let me just flip my camera so you guys can see this. Hold on. Hold on. Let me see if I can fix this. Is there a way to see the screen the right way? I don't know how to do that. <laughs> I don't. I, I, I don't want you guys to be looking at this backwards, but I don't really know how to fix the screen. So you guys are just going to have to listen to me talk. So, all right. So then tell me this, where's your belief in USANA? Zero to 10, one to 10. Where's your belief in USANA as a company? So we, we've got the profession of network marketing, and then you've got to choose your company in which you're going to participate with. There's lots of companies to pick from. Where is your belief in USANA as a company? Go ahead and comment, somewhere between a one and a 10. Where's your belief in USANA as a company? And just so that I know you're talking about USANA, not the industry, you know, type USANA next to it. USANA, what, what number are you at? And this will be really helpful. You'll be able to see kind of where people's belief level is at. And here's why this is so important. The reason that we want to get to a nine or a 10 is because I believe that all of our actions stem from where our belief system is. So if you're not at a nine or a 10, ask yourself right now, why aren't you at a nine or a 10? Is it a bad experience in the past with network marketing? Um, 
Is it, I don't know, is it, is it maybe somebody in your family tried network marketing and it didn't work? Um, is, it, is there some embarrassment? Um, maybe you've just come from a traditional school of thought on what a, a job should look like, what a career looks like. You've gotta be honest with yourself, but figure out what that is and why you're not at a nine or a 10 and be honest with yourself. And then let's look at a belief system. So a belief is a feeling of absolute certainty that you have about something, right? So here's what happens when people join network marketing. I find that when a person joins a company like USANA and they're new to the business, we try to get that person to go out there and talk to other people about USANA. So we kind of try to force them out of their comfort zone, they start creating their list, they start talking about USANA, but the reality is it doesn't feel natural. My belief system is, is that rather than forcing a person to try and do something that doesn't feel natural or doesn't feel congruent with who they are, I would rather shift their belief system such that they want to talk about USANA, that they feel good talking about the products and feel great talking about the industry. I would rather tweak their mindset, tweak the system to where now they feel excited about talking rather than just doing it because somebody is telling them to do it or doing it because the checklist says that's the next task for them to accomplish. So we've got to shift that belief system. And that's where you can either have empowering beliefs or we can have limiting beliefs. I'm hopeful that people have empowering beliefs when it comes, not limiting beliefs, self-doubt beliefs. So let's look at that traditional plan. You guys all know this. And again, you go to school for 12 plus years, you work for 40 years, you build your nest egg, you retire and live happily ever after. That's what we were all taught. Not saying that that's a bad plan, but I think if you look at 21st century, I don't think that's the direction that people are going. So I actually made this presentation a while back, but I think it's really helpful. And again, I apologize for it being a little twisted, but here's what I want you guys to see. If I spent about 250,000 to $400,000, this would have been the four year chunks for medical school for me. I was gonna to go to med school for four years, residency four years, fellowship for four years. That would have cost me about 250,000, not including interest. I would have spent 30 years working at the end of 30 years, I hopefully would have saved up $3 million. Depending upon interest rates, you could get $60,000 a year if you invested that money correctly. And that's the traditional option A that we're all accustomed to. Well, according to Dr. Herschek, when I started with USANA, he told me that if I spent four years building a USANA business, I could get to someplace around $93,000 a year, which at that time was the average for a full-time income in USANA. So why not spend four years trying to develop an asset? You know, and if I can do that in four years, that's much different than spending 12 years studying, 30 years working to come up with 60,000 on the back end. So I started to grasp this concept. I hope you guys are following me here. I wanted to spend four years building something else. And when you look at the numbers, again, you can go to usanaincome.com, you can look at the average numbers, but I saw this number and it was 93,000 was the average for a full-time associate, 24,000 for a part-time. I thought these seemed like realistic numbers that I could achieve. If you go to usanaincome.com, I think this chart's a lot more boring, but you can see that these are the numbers. These are realistic numbers up to date right now. So we wanna look at Again, I'm not saying the traditional plan isn't good. I'm just saying I wanted something more than that. I wanted to create time freedom and I wanted a vehicle that would allow me to do that. And so if you think about water, I want the type of faucet where when you touch the faucet, the water keeps coming out, that's passive. You don't have to hold the faucet up in order for the water to come down. We want to develop passive income, meaning getting paid more than once for your work. So if we go back to this option B, I saw that if I could hit full-time in four years, and let's just say if I could hit Ruby Director over the next four years, let's say a total of eight years, and it didn't take me eight years, but if it did take me eight years, I knew that if I could spend eight years building a business and get to 137,000 in part-time income, that would be better than this option A. I wouldn't put myself 250,000 in debt, and I wouldn't have to wait all of these 30 years to be able to have that passive 60,000 in income. And you guys can see here, here's just some fun pictures. This has been my journey with USANA. Uh, lots of trips with my brother, my family, got to play football, lots of speaking, cool opportunities. And again, it's not just about the money, it's about the, the lifestyle that USANA affords. So again, I want you guys to go back to understanding this traditional formula of success, right? You work 50 hours a week, 
Over the course of 50 weeks in a year, that's 2,500 hours. Over a 40 year working career, that's 100,000 hours. 72% of people think regularly or constantly about quitting their job. Most of these people, if given the opportunity to do something else, would do it. So I think what's fascinating is this is what most people are accustomed to. Somewhere between 18 and 22, they work for 40 years and they retire somewhere between 62 and 72. And that average age of retirement continues to grow. So, do you think you're safe? Job security, company pension, social security, Medicare, mutual funds, 401ks. A lot of people are banking on these things to be their retirement. And I think if you're putting all your chips in that basket, I think it's scary. Robert Kiyosaki says, the economy is not the issue, the issue is you. So, I want to put a plug here for a book. How many of you guys have read this book right here? The Business of the 21st Century. I read this book... Honestly, I read this book 12 years ago, and you guys can see, I have got this thing like so highlighted up. Highlighted, documented, I've got it. Quotes, I mean, I, I can't tell you how many times I've read this book. Posted notes all over this thing. If you have not read this book, Business of the 21st Century, I'm telling you right now, you need to get this book. Business of the 21st Century by Robert Kiyosaki. Building genuine wealth is as much about the builder as it is about what's being built. You gotta work on yourself. So again, in the spirit of talking about the industry of network marketing, I wanted to raise my belief. So here's three timeless principles that I think apply to network marketing. Minimize your tax liability, overcoming personal time barriers, and then creation of continuous cash flow. So let's just real quickly talk about each of these. When I talk to a person in the beginning about USANA, I don't promise them any sort of income claims. Like you're gonna make this amount of money. I will never do that. But what I can promise them is that you can immediately start saving on your taxes. I recommend you read Sandy Botkin's book, but you save an average of $250 a month. It's between a two and three to thousand and nine thousand a year, which minimally is $250 a month by owning and operating a home-based business. This is now taking advantage of things that you're already buying. Whether it be you know, a computer, maybe it's a portion of your cell phone, a portion of your house if you have a home office. Things that you're already spending money on now move into that tax category of being able to be business, excuse me, business for loss. So minimizing tax liability if you don't own a home-based business, you're paying way too much. All right, let me just give you guys a quick example, and I'm just gonna break this down. And again, if it's, if it's sideways on your screen, I'm sorry. <laughs> so let me just show you guys. So if you're an employee, you get paid a W-2. If you're a business owner, you get paid a 1099. Let's just do a quick example. If you're an employee, they'll immediately take somewhere around 25 to 30%. That's $250, which leaves you your take home $750. Let's decide to um, you know, buy a computer for 900 bucks. So you spend $900 on a computer, which means you put it on a credit card, you're in the hole $150. Let's take that same scenario. And let's say that you're a home-based business owner, somebody like Usana. Well, now you're going to take that $900 computer and you're going to actually claim it as business for loss because you need that computer in order to operate your home-based business. You spend $900, that leaves you with $100 of taxable income. If you're at the same 25% rate, that's going to be $25 of tax liability. Now you're left with a positive $75. Now, if you're not catching that, You've got two people that spent the same amount of money, but the difference is you're $150 in the hole as opposed to $75 positive. Now, I'm not a tax person. I'm not a CPA. I'm not giving you any tax uh, teaching, but I recommend you read Sandy's book and you start to learn how you can take advantage of owning a home-based business. Overcoming a personal time barrier, there's 24 hours in a day. 365 days out of the year, that means that you can only work 8,760 hours per year. Can't work more than that. You reach the ceiling on how much you can accomplish as far as time. So if we overcome the time barrier, it's quite simple when you start to leverage other people's efforts. And this is what happens when you build any sort of a team. I don't care if you're a CEO leveraging off of employees, if you're a coach leveraging off of players. Anytime you have a system set up to where there's leverage, 10 hours a week times a team of 100 people is 1,000 hours. Over the course of two years, it's 100,000 hours. So 100% of your own efforts, you'd have to work 50 hours a week uh, for 40 years to accomplish 100,000 hours with a team of 100 people. You're talking 10 hours per week times two years, 100,000 hours. So you can see these are just examples of showing how leverage is created. 
Now, this will be a little bit tough to see backwards, but I'm gonna try my best to explain this. I am a numbers guy, and so I wanted to start to understand the concept of continuous cash flow. This is one of those three timeless principles. If you had $50,000 cash at an interest rate of 10%, that's gonna yield you $5,000 a year. 50,000 at 5% would yield you $2,500 a year. 50,000 at 2.5% is gonna yield you $1,250 a year. Now, this is probably more comparative to what sort of rates we can get today. That means that you're making a little bit more than $100 a month. I think $104 to be exact. So $50,000 at 2.5% is going to yield you $100 a month. The problem is most people don't have $50,000 cash, and it can be challenging to find this 2.5% rate. But if you did, that's exactly what you're making. When people tell me, I'm only a believer in USANA, I only make $100 a month, they act like that's not a big deal, but you're not seeing it correctly. If you truly were making a residual income of $100 a month, that would be the equivalent to $50,000 in the bank growing at 2.5%. That's a huge deal, that's an asset. So if you were making $400 a month, well that'd be $200,000 in the bank at 2.5%. You start to see what sort of asset you have built once you start to see that residual income coming in. Let's just say that you were making $2,000 a month. Well, that would be the equivalent to $1.2 million at 2%. If you were making $11,420 per month, you're talking $6.85 million at 2%. You can start to see what sort of asset you're building. And I hope that you guys are seeing that an asset is exactly what you're building when you're putting your time and energy into USANA. All right, so the poor follow the wrong tax system, personal time limit to their income, never consider getting paid more than once, whereas the rich, they have habits of minimizing tax liability, they overcome the time barrier by using other people's time, and then they create continuous cash flow. If you start to follow these trends, if you see a person that's healthy, you start to see what their habits are. If you see a person that's wealthy, you start to see what their habits are. I studied the trends of the rich, and I wanted to, I wanted to mirror the choices that they were making. So here's a couple of things. Freedom is yours when continuous cash flows are an amount greater than your needs. Continuous cash flows without requiring your time to create it. And you have to help to enjoy that cash flow. And that's where I would say that the fourth freedom principle that I always taught was true health. Minimize taxes, overcome time barriers, creation of cash flow, and then true health. That being the most important. And I believe USANA gives us the opportunity to do all four. Okay, so let's take this just a little bit further. I don't know if you guys remember brilliant compensation, but when I was evaluating a business, these are four things that you want to evaluate when choosing a business. Number one, you want to select a large and expanding market. Wellness is an expanding market. Technology is an expanding market. You want to be capitalizing on the front end. Choose a consumable product so that it's repeat business. We know that with USANA, every 28 days an auto order is going through, that's repeat business, that's residual cash flow. Market products that are unique, that's really the catch. Not necessarily the best products, although I think we do have the best products. You wanna have products that are unique so you can separate yourself from the marketplace and then create a means to leverage yourself. Again, that goes back to overcoming the time barrier. So let's look at the expanding market. If you look back, 1945, it was baby foods, 55, it was elementary schools being built, fast food chains, then real estate, then discount superstores, that's going away. Now we look at 2012 and beyond, it's health and wellness. It will continue to expand, and the baby boomers have been driving these trends. Here are some cool quotes that I thought I would share with you guys, again, going back to building your belief in network marketing. Dr. Charles King is a professor at uh, Chicago, Illinois, Chicago. It's currently, network marketing is a $30.8 billion industry in the U.S., $110 billion worldwide. The industry is moving in a wave of professionalism. We're seeing more professionals, physicians, dentists, attorneys, CEOs, college professors going in the direction of network marketing. Our president, Donald Trump, Robert Kiyosaki, we found one business model that stood out from the rest. This particular business creates a passive income and can be operated on a flexible, part-time basis. This business is called network marketing. Here's another, Paul Zane Pilzer, wellness and network marketing both represent enormous financial opportunity. Either opportunity alone has the potential to create new wealth. Some companies have combined the best of both worlds, creating a perfect storm of unprecedented economic opportunity. Funny story, so I met Paul Zane Pilzer in an elevator. I was in Las Vegas, and I went up to him and I just said, I have to thank you. I read your book, The Wellness Revolution, back in 2007. 
and you said there'd be a million, 10 million new millionaires created in the wellness industry. And I just want you to know that you infused, you lent your belief to me and I decided to pursue a company wholeheartedly. And as a result of, of, of your you know, teaching and training and education, I ended up becoming one of those 10 million new millionaires. So I just wanted to say thank you. And he was laughing and chuckling. And anyhow, he's a great guy, but I thought that was a fun story. And I, again, that goes back to Paul Zane Pilzer. So let me leave you with this slide here. Ensuring your business makes people's lives better. This is what a successful business does. Ensure your product is unique and consumable. Ensure your product is positioned in front of large trends. Ensure you're not trying to do it all yourself and that you're using leverage. Ensure that you train your teammates and make sure they all have as much gain as you do and be a professional, okay? So here's what I wanted to accomplish with our time today. I wanted to kind of move quickly through this content, but I wanted you to see that, that, that I've spent a lot of time reading, authors, studying, listening to CDs and podcasts and videos. The point is, is I'm not there in your pocket when you're out talking to prospects. I'm not there with you, whether you're at church or you're at dinner with friends. I'm not there to have that conversation. You have got to have a belief in network marketing for yourself. And maybe network marketing is just one of the things that you're pursuing, but have some competence, have some professionalism, have some excitement, have some swagger when it comes to representing this space so that you can have an educated conversation with people about this wonderful industry that you represent. And I see a lot of USANA people, they just shift right to the products. And I love the products, don't get me wrong, but we've gotta have confidence when it comes to the industry, especially for people looking for uh, a business opportunity, okay? So here's gonna be your opportunity to earn this case of Rev3 that I promised you guys. In the spirit of giving, in the spirit of taking care of others, I wanna really endorse a book that honestly changed me. Dr. Steve Hershchik, he's a diamond director in USANA. For those of you that don't know him, he's actually my sponsor. But he wrote this book, Royalty Income, The Business of Getting Paid More Than Once. What most of you don't know is that he took a year with his family, they moved to Honduras, they served on the medical missions field for free for an entire 12 months. And while he was there, he wrote this book. Very few people have the opportunity to actually leave the country, um, walk away from their job, and be able to make a difference uh, in somebody else's life. I mean, I, I was so impressed with what he did, but he felt like network marketing enabled him the opportunity to do that and to give back. And I think that was significant level of thinking. But while he was there, he wrote this book, Royalty Income. And this book is really a treasure. I would highly recommend that you guys check this book out. And so here's what I'm gonna ask. If you guys want to qualify for this Rev3, I'm gonna do a drawing and here's all I ask. I just ask that you go to Amazon, look up Dr. Hershchek's book, Royalty Income, buy the book for yourself. If you already have the book, then I'm gonna ask that you buy the book for somebody else, uh, somebody on your team or maybe a future leader. But if you buy this book, it's like, $8 on Kindle, it's nine bucks paperback, it's not very much. Buy this book and just screenshot below the receipt in this video and then by Friday, I'm gonna look, I'll do a drawing and I'll send a case of Rev3 to somebody that shows me that they've, they've taken a screenshot of this book. Again, you can buy the book for yourself or you can buy the book from somebody on your, for somebody on your team, but I believe that this business is about educating our mindsets and making sure that we teach our teammates to do the same. So that's your call to action. Get royalty income on Amazon, and I think that you will stand to benefit from that. So with that being said, I hope that this has been a helpful video for you guys. I really do. Um, man, I'm, I'm going on 11 years now with network marketing, and I have so much gratitude in my heart for what this profession has meant to me, what it's done in my life, and I hope the same for you guys. So. Continue to educate yourself, continue to grow, and, uh, and let's make sure that we don't cross the finish line by ourselves. It's all about helping other people to do the same. So thanks for your time. I hope this video has been helpful. Uh, take a picture of uh, the receipt, put it on the video below, and then I look forward to sending a case of Rev3 to someone this week. We'll talk to you guys soon. Have a good rest of the day.